I decided to quit my PhD one and a half year ago. But what's changed since then? Well, a lot. If you already think this sounds boring, you can skip this reel. But if you've debated going for a PhD, a startup, or a conventional job, stick around. The first is that you don't actually need to know the project you'll be working on for the next five years. It will most likely be a project of your professor, or you will just explore, iterate, and find one in the process. The second one is that you are not stuck for five years. You can actually quit at any time and even start again later on. So it's not such a big commitment deal, even though it's better to stick around. You can leave if it's not for you. Don't stay for three more years if it's horrible. But this is what academia is about, diving into one project for a very long time and handling it from start to finish. Then you have the startup world, where you basically need to be useful, else you are out. So you really need to work harder, but the reward is much more promising. And lastly, if you are looking for more relaxed, normal nine to five job hours, a regular job is probably for you. Nowadays, we have very good conditions with remote settings, and you can sometimes even work whenever you want. So that's the safest and totally fair option to choose. On my end, I really love the startup world just because it's basically linked to your inputs. The more you do, the more you gain, unless you don't stick around for long enough. So I really like this aspect, but it's definitely more demanding, I think. You'll also learn way more skills, some that I've never thought I'd ever learn, like making content like this reel and dealing with clients, money, and focusing on a problem to fix rather than solution to develop as we do in research. Let me know if this is interesting and I'll create more content about my experience for the past six years in the startup world. I'm Louis-Francois, CTO and co-founder of Towards AI.